What up, Dirk? Dirk, Dirk, D to the E to the R to the G. Hey guys, um, I'm sat in my hotel room in London. I'm up for some training, some fitness training, because I am nearly a qualified personal trainer. So, drop a give me 20. Um, so I'm here for a week, uh, and I've just checked into my hotel room, which is very lovely. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's got a bed and a shower in it. It's pretty much not in the same room because that would be, uh, problematic. Um, but it's lovely. It's, you know, it does the job. Uh, so I'm, yeah, going to go to my course tomorrow morning and then, yeah. And then I'll be fully qualified at the end of June for all sorts of madness. I'm going to put some stuff online. I'm going to be in a gym. I'm still going to be acting. I'm still an actor. Um, but this is also a lovely side gig, side job that I found that I really enjoy. So I'm going to have that going at the same time, which is cool. Um, what are you lot saying to me? We actually started over at season one, episode one. Fantastic. Thought of Alice Fonley during episode one, uh, season one, episode 17. That's great. But I'm not in that season. So when you say you thought of Alice Fondly during season one, episode 17... You've done it, I think you, no. Yeah, I'm definitely not in that one. <laughs> you had me there for a second going, am I? No, definitely not, season seven. No, not in that one. So it's it's great that you're thinking about it fondly through season one, episode 17. I wonder what is making you think of me fondly in that season. Um, is it because you've got, you've got Mad Hatter in there? Is that Sebastian Stan? Is that what makes you... And T's sister, Ali. Is that what's going on? I'm just confused by the whole situation that you're thinking of Alice six seasons before she actually enters the show. <laughs> you know, that's my that's my feeling behind that. Um, any projects you can talk about? So I finished a rom-com uh, in Bulgaria, um, which probably is never going to be seen anywhere. It was very fun, but we filmed it in about three days. Um, and it's, I think it's being sold to a French company. Um, so I'm not sure it's going to be mainstream or even scream, mainstream or kind of streamed anywhere near here. Um, I do think that, uh, a grand romantic gesture that I was in, that I filmed a year ago now, a little over a year ago with Gina McKee and Douglas Hodge. They're two fine actors here in the UK. So I, I do believe that will be seen somewhere. I play a really neurotic daughter. I overacted the whole thing. Um, so I think it's going to be quite cringe to watch that for me, to watch myself doing it. Because I'll be going, what are you doing? That You're doing that big, that big character. Um, but I guess it's kind of good because then it highlights the kind of neutrality and the kind of stillness and simplicity of the lead characters who are just kind of, yeah... I think I just think I've I've gone way over the top. <laughs> I can just rem I can remember some of the scenes, and some of the choices that I made, and going, really that's there's big and then there's big, um. So some of the choices that I decided to do is just funny, um. So I think that one should come out. Magic Man, yeah, I think Magic Man's gone to the uh festival circuit, so I don't know where you can watch Magic Man. Um, I know that it's beautiful. I've seen it a couple of times. Um, Alice, who filmed it and produced it. It's a gorgeous love story. It's very, it is a short, it's very short. Um, but yeah, it was lovely to film that with really lovely people. Um, so yeah. Anything special you would like to talk to us about? Well, I mean, happy Pride Month. Um, that's a big one to talk about. And you've even got a pride flag which is fantastic. Um, I feel so honoured to be part of your community, a kind of honorary gay, really. Um, and I'm really grateful for all of the support that you guys continue to give, not just me, but also Tierra and the and the Alice and Robin story. Thank you so, so much. Um, we love you and you're the reason we do it. So, yeah, uh, you could ask for jokes. <laughs> Did I hear one the other day that was really good? What what did I do? Mm, can't remember. There was a good one that someone did the other day that I thought was really funny. 
I've given you all my cheese ones, haven't I? What was one? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I'll give you some TV show suggestions, which are good shouts. Mayor of Easttown. If you haven't seen it, Kate Winslet makes a very rare TV performance. She barely ever does TV. I think the last thing she did was Mildred Pierce many, many years ago. But Mayor of Easttown, she just transforms into Mayor. Um, and I think she's wonderful. And it's a really good, if you like true detectives or kind of that sort of cop drama, sharp objects, also a great one. Um, I'm really into the kind of thrillers at the moment. We're getting an influx of thrillers and they're doing really well. So yeah, sharp objects it was a while ago now though. You've probably seen it already. Um, what else have I been watching? RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under, the Australian version, I'm watching that, that's good. Um, we've got the show called The Masked Dancer. If I try and explain it to you, you just won't understand. Um, you won't understand because it's so bonkers. Basically, celebrities dress up in... I can't believe this is six minutes. This is what you guys do to me. I just talk and talk and talk. And I then look at the clock and go, what? I'll wrap it up. But Masked Dancer, celebrities get in costumes, uh, like really elaborate costumes. Do a Google search, Masked Dancer UK. Um... And then they have to dance. They're not trained. Some of them aren't. Most of them aren't trained dancers, and they dance. And then that you get the audience get clues about what who's behind the mask. Um, and you get really into it. You go, well, it's clearly this person, or I have no idea who that is. And then you're always wrong. <laughs> I didn't guess any of them. The series is just finished. I didn't get any of the masked dancers. I didn't know any of them. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. If you can get it in the states, where I know you guys are. Um, yeah, you should watch that. But apart from that, same old, same old. It was still that slightly awkward, goofy girl from the Bronx. <laughs> I'm not from the Bronx. <laughs> I'm from the southwest of England. Um, but that's it. That's all I have to say to you all. I love you all so, so much. Please take care of yourself. I feel coming out of it. Get vaccinated. I've had my first one. You can't see it. It was a tight... There, see? That little mark there, that's my vaccine. Wear it with pride. I want my other one though now. But I tell you what, my arm was uh, kind of really heavy and sore the next day and then it was gone. That was all my side effects were. Um, so yeah, if you haven't been vaccinated, get vaccinated. Love you so much. Bye.